Hello, in this lecture we will be studying about another PC-DC converter which is the SAPIC converter. Now we come across another type of converter called SAPIC converter, a uh, single ended primary inductor converter. Here too we have two inductors L1 and L2. We have one switch and a capa capacitor. We will again considering the on and off state separately. When the switch is 1, for L1, when the switch is, uh, switch is on for L1, current flows in this direction. So we can get minus V in plus VL1 is equal to 0. We are considering plus minus VL1 plus minus V in. If that's the case, VL1 is equal to V in. When the switch is on, we put this equation number 1. When the switch is off for inductor 1, no current flows through this direction. The direction of flow of current is this one. Uh, we'll learn later when we discuss about the equation 2 why no current can pass in this direction. At present, we are just considering this is the given, this is the loop which the current follows. So we are considering this is VL1, this is V in, and this is V out, this is VC1. So by applying simple KVL for L for L1, we find minus V in plus V L1 plus V C1 uh, plus V out is equal to 0. From this we get V L1 is equal to V in minus V C1 minus V out. V in minus V C1 minus V out. We put it equation number 2. Again, we will be considering uh, switch on and off conditions for inductor 2. When the, uh, when the switch is on, this capacitor which was charged when the switch was off has to get discharged. So, it cannot get discharged by this loop because the diode is in opposite direction. So, it has to get discharged by this loop. So, we are considering plus minus VL2. So, for on state for L2, we get... Uh, minus vc1 minus uh, minus vc minus v, vl2 is equal to 0 by applying kvl or vl2 is equal to minus vc1 so we put it equation number 3 what happens when the switch is off when the switch is off this inductor which has been charged in this direction charged from this direction will get discharged we get plus minus V L2 and plus minus V output. So since it will get discharged, it was charged in this direction. It has to get discharged by flowing current through this direction. Again, the direction of the diode also state that the current will flow in this direction. So this is the loop of the current. From this loop of the current, we get for L2, uh, we get minus V L2 plus V output is equal to 0 applying simple KVL from this we get VL2 is equal to V out we put it equation number 4 now in case of first inductor 0 to T VL1 DT is supposed to be 0 so we can write when the switch is on 0 to T on VL1 was equal to VI and when the switch was off T on to T VL1 is equal to VI minus VC minus V output DT is equal to 0 if this is equal to 0 we can write VI T on plus VI T minus VI T on minus VC minus V naught we take weight again common T minus T on. Now we can cancel minus VIT on and plus VIT on and we can divide both sides by T minus T on. If we do that we get VI T divided by T minus T on is equal to <coughs> VC minus V naught T minus T on divided by T minus T on. So these two cancel each other and we can write VC is sorry 
vc plus vr so we can get vc is equal to vi t divided by t minus t on minus v output now we can divide the numerator and denominators by t if we do that we get vi 1 by 1 minus t minus v output vc is equal to this so we put this as equation 5 which we get from inductor 1 now again from inductor 2 we can get integration of 0 to t vl2 is dt is equal to 0 if that's the case when the switch is on 0 to t on we'll, we know vl2 is equal to minus vc and when the switch is on 0 to sorry t on to t we get vl2 is equal to v output so from this we get v minus vc t on plus v naught t minus v naught t on is equal to 0 or we can get vc is equal to v naught t by t on minus v naught therefore vc is equal to v naught d minus v naught we put this equation number 6 now if you can con if we combine equation number 5 and 6 what we get is vc is equal to 1 by 1 minus d v in minus v naught this is from equation 5 is equal to v naught t minus v naught this is from equation 6 so from this we can cancel v naught and v naught from both sides we get v output is equal to d divided by 1 minus d v input and it is to be noted that if we just modify it a bit, bit we get minus d by d minus 1 v input if this minus sign wasn't there the input output relations will be similar to will have been similar to bug boost but there is a minus sign actually the operation is similar to bug boost that is if d is greater than 0 0.5 we get boost operation if d is smaller than 0 0.5 we get buck operation or step down operation this is true but what happens is because of this minus sign in case of bug boost we knew that the output voltage v output is negative if v in is positive but in case of sepic converter for a positive v input we'll get a positive v output as a result in case of sepic converter the output polarity is not changed current relations we can easily find uh, uh, find uh, from power v i i input is equal to v out i output so we have already learned v out is equal to d by 1 minus d v input uh, v input i input so we cancel v input from both sides we get i output is equal to 1 minus d by d i input again if we take a negative sign common t minus 1 by t i input so again we can see the out input output relation follows but boost relation only the difference is here the uh, direction of the current is not opposite that's all for today we'll learn about zeta converter in our next lecture thank you